Hi guys, this is section three. We talk about proofs. All right, so what does it mean proving an argument? Well, proving an argument is equivalent to showing that the argument is in fact a valid argument, all right? So therefore, by the definition of validity, uh, proving an argument means that when the premises of an argument are true, well, then the conclusion must be true. Well, how can we prove an argument? Well, there are two ways, as I mentioned earlier. One way is to uh, <clears throat> write down the truth table of the argument. Um, the thing is, though, it could be a very complicated when the number of atomic sentences are large. For example, when there are five atomic sentences in my argument, well, then that, me uh, that means there are going to be 2 to the power of 5, which is 32 rows uh, in this truth table. So it becomes very messy. Instead, we do uh, proof by using uh, inference rules. So inference rules are actually arguments, short arguments, that can be proven by the truth table. We actually did prove uh, some of those uh, inference rules, but once again, inference rules are shorter arguments, which is easier to prove by truth table. So we're going to note those inference rules, and along the way, we are going to introduce more rules, and we can use them in our proofs as a shortcut. All right, so there are three inference rules I would like to introduce uh, in this section. The first one is called modus ponens. So modus ponens says, if P implies uh, Q and P, if these are my two premises, well then conclusion is true. Uh, Q, I'm sorry. So it basically says, if your two premises, P implies Q, and P are true, well then Q must be true. This is modus ponens. The second inference rule, or the second um, shortcut, an argument, a valid argument, is called modus tollens. It says, if your premise P implies Q is true, and if your premise not Q is true, well then, not P must be true as well, okay? So this is a valid argument. And then the third one is the double negation. If P is true, well then not not P, so I'm basically double negating the sentence, so that not not cancels each out. So if P is true, not not P must be true. So this is also a valid argument. So these are three uh, very short, valid argument where we can use to prove more complicated arguments. So I'm going to uh, consider the following argument as an example. Q implies R, this, this is premise number one, not Q implies R, oh, I'm sorry, this is Q implies P, and then not Q implies R, this is my second premise, and then the third premise is not R. So suppose all these three premises are correct, true. Well, then the conclusion is P. Is it the case that P is also true? Or is this a valid argument? How can I prove that? Well, two ways. One, the truth table. Um, just to save some time, I, I already wrote down the truth table. So I have three premises. And then the conclusion. So I strongly advise that you construct this truth table. So um, after constructing the truth table, I look at the cases where all three premises are true. And there's only one such case, as, ca as far as I can see. And then in this case, the conclusion is also true. Check. So. Therefore, this uh, argument is a valid argument. All right, so now I'm going to prove it by using those inference rules. 
And this is uh, the, the method, the proof method that we, uh, uh, we, we call or we use is what's called direct proof. The idea is the following. You assume that the premises are true and then show that the conclusion must be true as well. All right. So I am going to rewrite this argument and I'm going to number them, number everything so that I can refer back easily. So the first premise is Q implies P. This is premise. The second argument or, 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 or premise is not Q implies R. This is also premise. And then the third one is uh, not R. This is also premise. Good. So now I want to prove P. So how can I do that? Well, remember I have those shortcuts, so let's use them. So which one uh, would be the uh, useful one? Well, it's, it seems like the modus tollens uh, can be applied into premise number two and three, right? So modus tollens says P implies Q, not Q, therefore not P. So here I have a similar structure. Not Q implies R, so this is like P, this is like Q, all right? And then not R, so this is like not Q, so therefore not P, which means not not Q. All right, so I'm going to name this number four, not not Q, and it's a, a, a conclusion of this inference rule modus tollens of premise number two and three. Okay, so once I have not not Q, what else? So now I have kind of four premises, think it that way. So I can use all those fours. Um, so the not not Q, well, I can use this inference rule, the double negation. If I am double negating a statement, well, it must be true. So if not not Q, well, that means P. Double negation of four. Okay. And then finally, Oh, well, let's not say finally. Um, so I have P. Okay, I have, I'm sorry. This is not P, that's my mistake. This is not not Q implies Q, I'm sorry. Um, so I have Q. I have a Q implies P. So it seems like I can use the inference rule number one, modus ponens, so if I have a situation like a conditional premise, P implies Q, and then the, the, the first atomic sentence is true, well, then the second atomic sentence must be true. So I have a similar situation here. Q implies P is true. Q is true. I already shown that. So therefore, P must be true. And this is a result or conclusion of modus ponens of arguments number one and number five. So that's it, the conclusion is shown. So if these premises are true, well then the conclusion, which is P, must be true as well. So here is maybe one thing that I should underline. This, this double negation uh, rule, it says, if P, then not not P, but here, I used sort of the opposite. If not not uh, Q implies Q, uh, or equivalently, so let's use the same letters here. Can I say not not P implies P? Well, yes. So that's also double negation, all right? Because uh, P and not not P are actually equivalent. So if this rule is correct, which is, and this rule is also correct. So uh, just just be careful uh, if it if it confuses you. Um, so that's that's how we prove a statement, uh, an argument.